that one will be gap. Uh, I mean, sure, I guess. Legacy win. Oh, somebody asked about standard. Was it a uh, martyr MTG? I think I'm going to do standard tomorrow and Wednesday as like my last final prep before San Diego. So we'll do standard tomorrow, standard Wednesday, just two full days of standard. And then I'll do donut X on Thursday. I mean, I I've already locked in a track, so I just need to change. I just need to figure out like the last couple flex spots between tonight or between this morning and last night. I think I'm like 16 and two. Again, it's just like arena ladder bullshit, but the deck is just it's so fucking broken. Turns out Atraxa, good card. Okay. Good card, Atraxa, good card. <laughs> yeah, it might be good. Might be a playable card. Unclear. What am I supposed to do against Voldaren Epicure? Though, funny enough, Waste Not actually kind of gas against their blood tokens. I guess if they discard a land, I get two mana, then I can Edict them maybe. And I must submit a deck tech only have the main so far, but it's sweet. Yeah, if you if you want to, Rosie Dog, I'm down. Jesus. Yeah, or they just fucking kill me. <laughs> That's Devriel. <laughs> uh I mean, sure, I guess. Alright, discard a car. What you got for my waist knot? <clears throat> Alright, Rosie Dog with a deck tech. You cool if I wait after the match? Discarding synthesizer, so I get the draw card. Big sedge. <clears throat> you won't have to wait long, Rosie Dog. This match is going to be over pretty quickly. <laughs> All right, you win. You win, Jesus. This matchup cannot be remotely salvageable. Yeah, we can't possibly win. We are drawing dead. I got a Cletus. Can't imagine Dov. I mean, like, am I supposed to keep in fucking go blank against them? Duress, maybe? Kling's bad, I think. Dude, I just... I don't even know. Extinction event, I guess. Can't go blank. Got this stupid Turgrid. Does my deck just not function without go blank, though? <coughs> Maybe Duress is no bueno? Like, what do you think about this, I guess? Cling is good-ish. Oh, I guess I should cut Thoughtseize, right? So maybe just cut all the, the Seizes, play two Duress, a Cling... And fuck, I don't know. Go blank, maybe. Yeah, I guess one go blank is probably okay. God, this deck is. See every, and this is exactly what the, the experience that I thought I was going to get when I played this deck. I just look at my opening hands and I'm just like, how on earth does this ever win five matches in the same league? Like I just don't understand it. How? Literally how? But there's one in every single dump. Every single 5-0 dump, there's always one of these decks. Maybe it's just one of those things where if you play a million matches, like, you're going to 5-0 eventually, I guess. <clears throat> Surprise, no March. Yeah, March could be good. Yeah, the premium account. The premium account has been activated. I mean, I guess I could keep Waste.Duress the draw card. But back, like, Field of Ruin cutdown... And hold up, go turn one fatal push, turn two waste not, turn three duress draw card. Yeah, have you simply just tried buying wins? Not that I'm suggesting win trading or anything of the sort. Uh, parentheses joke. It is the same person, yeah. I think their username is like U-E-J-G-O or something like that. Yeah, maybe. So we're playing some real stinkers. Your turn. I would say it's been a pretty successful night so far, though. Got a 5-0, got a 4-1. I've been, I've been having a good time tonight. It's been a good night. Uh, shit, why did I have 6? <laughs> I was supposed to fatal push that. It's probably fine. What did I 5 with? I 5 with? I 5 would with dragons. Gruel dragons. Dude, that was hype. <laughs> 5 owing with Thunderbreak region in 2023. That was so hype. Oh, we're dead. I guess we're not dead dead. Yeah, then 1-2 drop. You know, well, I mean, what happened was I 5-0'd, 
and for some reason, after I 5 would I decided it was a good idea to change cards. Even though everybody knows that after you, if you 5 0 your deck is perfect, so why would you ever change cards when you 5 0 you know? So that was, that one's on me, that was a mistake that I made, but... Seem dead. If I draw a sweeper, they can't win. <laughs> I do have, I only have five sweepers, but... That is not one of them. Uh, three, four, five, go to eight. Draw a card, go to five. Probably have to. <clears throat> I mean, I have to, right? I can't knock Castle here. By that logic, the way it's not that is per. That, that's what I'm saying, you know? Every deck that 5 O's is always perfect. Like, you shouldn't just, you should just never change anything from a 5 O list. It's just how it works. Bro, Waste Knot's $10? Why? You didn't draw a Tarkus Command. Uh, alright, 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 alright. MTGO Premium, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I was just drawing lands anyways, but... MTGO Premium, baby. <clears throat> Alright, Rosie Dog. Deck Tech with ElfJS. I mean, I'm not going to tell you the deck is unplayable. Like, you know, I'm not going to say it's it's groundbreaking or, you know, it's, like really really good like you, you you probably are aware that it's not the the best idea um but given the card pool and the options that we have available um that's probably the best that you're gonna get if that makes sense i'm not i'm not you know what i mean i would never do that i'm not just gonna be like this deck sucks you know i would never do that to you it's not the most competitive deck but you know you'll definitely win some games like the, i'm sure that deck has some powerful draws uh, should we take Narset? I mean, this matchup has to be a fucking buy for us, right? <laughs> like, this has to be our best possible matchup. I cannot imagine a better matchup. I don't think they're very. Right. Spike only hates your pet card? Yeah, exactly. Alright, I mean, show me a fucking counter spell. No way, right? It's just no way. All right, you lost. Discard Abantu's Last Reckoning. <clears throat> yeah, Waste Not versus Shark Typhoon. <laughs> okay, I figured out. I've I've got a chat. Okay, I figured out exactly how people five zero with this model black deck. They just simply just play against blue white five times. That's the key. Yeah, they just only play against blue white. You haven't found a way to actually win the game. We're just going to run them out of cards. You don't need a win condition, man. Yeah, this is this is our win condition. Our win condition is just them giving up. I should love a deck that dugs. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, I don't think this deck is very good against much, but it's certainly good against blue-white, which makes it very good for me. Because I certainly love beating blue-white. Um... Uptick is maybe worse if they drew a second another Shark Typhoon, but... Okay. As soon as they draw on land, that's when I'll downtick. I don't know why I'm F6-ing. I have the, the castle in play. Not sure that I, I wanna keep it. I guess this could be annoying. Actually, that card could be very annoying. <coughs> I think I'm gonna cling. No, it's better to draw a card first, right? I think. Okay, that helps. Hey, Tonber, I found a win condition. <laughs> Guess what, Tonber? Win condition acquired. What you got? That's pretty good. That one is pretty good. Uh. Discard Kling, I think. Alright, go. <coughs> and before top deck verdict. Well, I mean, I have second shielded, right? Even if they draw verdict. I don't really care. Near <coughs> new. Honestly, I kind of hope they draw verdict. There's a lot worse cards for me that they could draw than verdict. Uh, should probably uptick first. I need a waste knot. 
think I might just not attack with the shieldred. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna attack. You can go. I find that hilarious. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, you go to 14. God, this song is so good. I'm not, not, not sure that I, I wanna keep it. Cling to dust. Actually, this is probably worse than just activating castle, right? Hmm. Guess I was supposed to do this first. Nothing mattered. Uh, I guess I should probably kill the Emperor this turn. Yeah, I'll kill the Emperor. Because then I can start slamming with the shield red. I'll just push their castle token. That's good. Okay, so I'm not getting much else out of this push, so. Really unfortunate they draw a second Emperor, but I do have a backup shield red. It's pretty good, too. Pretty good. Should tuck, right? Okay. Huh. Uh, yeah, this is uh, kind of bad for us. <laughs> this is actually kind of bad. I think. Well, maybe it's not. I guess the castle can make chump blockers. <clears throat> they have four planes, so Lado and Arm's now online. <laughs> I guess the issue is them drawing a counterspell. So the way to play around them drawing a counterspell is to cling first, uptick, discard the shield red, then play Waste Knot. Is that a good idea? I think it is. I don't get value out of the Waste Knot this turn, but I get to guaranteed resolve it. I think I like that. Does it really matter if it gets countered? I think it does. I could be wrong. Maybe it doesn't matter, but... I guess that's a good point. If I just play this and they counter it, they lose to the fairy. Sure. Okay. I guess that's fair. That's a reasonable point. I guess I could also attack first, but attack first is a lot worse if they drew another emperor. So doing this first is better if they have emperor. Because then I just don't attack. I did see the new Arabrask. Yeah, that card's sweet. Alright, make mana. Uh, I guess we know our top card. It's a shield red. There's just no reason to do this now, right? Yeah, we know our top card. Well, we know our top card. It's a shield red. Just wait till EOT. Because I can't draw two cards no matter what. So they go to six. They have tick tick. They go to four. They can tuck now next turn, but then they're losing the fairy. Yeah, they're in a bad spot. <clears throat> Easy. Yeah, maybe they're supposed to cycle there and try to find, like, a counterspell or something. Okay, that went pretty well. Now we get to cut all of our stone blanks. Down, push, go for the throat. Bring in Baleful Mastery Kalidus. Seems like a clean sideboard plan. Oh, no, the Bontus are bad, right? <laughs> I don't have enough cards to bring in. Uh, I mean, I guess I bring in a couple ley lines. Oh, I think it's made people very salty at FNM. Yeah, I have no idea if this deck's good or not. I see a lot of people 5 0 with it, but I guess like a couple pushes maybe for shark tokens. Oh, you know what? Pushes for Hall could be good too. Just a couple. Yeah, that's fine. Hall is definitely a good reason to have push. That card is a pain in the ass. I mean, I have two fields too, but. Event for Angels. Starnheim Unleashed. The thing about this, the thing about Starnheim is you're keeping them off, a, you're like, you're keeping them on low resources, so they're usually going to have to Starnheim for, like, one or two. So I think just having a couple of, whoa, a couple of pushes is good. What is that countering? I guess it's going to counter Thoughtseize. Alright, I don't, I don't think I want them countering Thoughtseize. I think it's fine to take it. Then I can just take the Narset with the next one. Drew Wandering Emperor. I'm still going to take Narset. <clears throat> we can go Go Blank. Okay, we know there are four cards. Ooh, but they have March, so that's no good. Yeah, we know they have March. 
So my guess is they'll discard Deluge, March, and keep Land Emperor. That would be my assumption. He discarded March Emperor. I guess that also makes sense to keep the Deluge. Yeah. Uh, slightly better for me. Ooh, now I can Waste Knot first into Thoughtseize. So if I Waste Knot first, Thoughtseize, they Deluge in response. Now they have Deluge X. Yeah, I think I'm cool with that exchange. Let's Waste Knot first. This is maybe slightly worse if they drew a Counterspell, but like... They have to cast the Deluge now, right? Oh. Or they drew Veto. It's fine. Last card's Deluge. Just don't draw March. It's pretty good. That is a pretty good one. Honestly, I think it's worth giving up the Shieldred. Why did they shock? Uh, Deluge into a one-mana spell? I don't know what one-mana spell they have a Deluge into. Yeah, I guess if I go... Liliana Uptick, they can hit exactly March White Card, and they can march in response to the Liliana pitching the White Card. But I honestly think that's fine with me, if they want to do that. I'm cool with that. Because then we're both Hellbent, but I still have Liliana in play. I know I'm losing the Shieldred this way, but... Yeah, like, honestly, I think that's fine with me, if they hit March White Card. Like, I could try to play the Shieldred first, but I feel like they have just have too many answers for Shieldred. I get the draw card, too. Fuck. Good Shelly. Mm, well, the problem with Shellying first is they just get to slam the Deluge, and then they get to untap. I don't know. They just have a lot of answers to Shelly. I, th I think this is doing it this way is better. I could be wrong, but... um, I guess we start here. See if they found a land. Honestly, I kind of want to discard second Shelly. Because I really want to go blank them. Maybe I was not supposed to activate the Liliana this turn. But I kind of want to get the card out of their hand. I just don't even think we need Shieldred to win this game. Like, eventually we'll need it, but not at this current juncture. I guess they can start castling the Liliana, but... We can keep pace with that, but just blessing, kind of. Oh, we can also just fucking Field of Ruin them. Yeah, what am I saying? Yeah, this is obviously way better. <laughs> I forgot to head the field. Alright, now they have nothing. <clears throat> they have a 1-1. One, one. And before they draw its fairy. Uh, let's discard that. Uh, that is bad. So I could cling in response to try to hit exactly Baleful Mastery. Yeah, probably fucked if they slam Shark. I think I have to try and go for Baleful Mastery here. Play your card before you activate Liliana. You want me to cycle my Clinger Dust and then activate Liliana? What's the point? I guess I could have played a land, but... Yeah, this is uh, not great now. Okay, that kind of helps. They get two tokens out of this, though. <clears throat> I guess Vitamin wanted me to, like, cycle and try to find a land. Because then I could go cycle, play a land, and... Oh, wait, this is fucking massive. Holy shit. <laughs> that they didn't activate this first. That's so huge for me. <laughs> that is so good for me. That is huge. Alright, that's bad for me. Huge. Cycling is hard, yeah. <laughs> Well, and I guess the two. Hmm, we're still kind of fucked. Okay. Do we just clean up the board? And then top deck warp, but I have Kling. Mm. I think I'm going to bin the Liliana. It sucks that I can't Kling this turn, but... <laughs> Maybe this is just bad. I think if we played any of the two Shillies this game, would have been long over. Yeah, I mean, given the fact that they didn't have a counterspell... Oh. Wait, that's horrendous for me. Shelly. Shit. That gets the Waste Knot and the Clang. Shelly. Um, there's nothing I could hit main face, so I'll just wait. Yeah, I mean, based on the cards they had, they didn't end up having a counterspell for Shelly, so, like... I still think that I like the way we played this game. Oh. 
Shelly acquired, I guess. We'll simply just draw a field. We only have one field left. Question is, can we try to race the hull? Probably have to take a seven ball if they attack. Go to nine, up to 11, they go to 12. Can like just barely race it maybe. Need a little bit of help, but we don't really have a ton of removal left in our deck post board though. I have like what, two, I only have one edict left and two fatal push and oh, I have no field of ruins left. Yeah, I have no fields. So all I have left is two push and one edict. I think. Yeah, two push, one edict. Oh, that's also bad. <laughs> okay, unironically did draw the push, so if they brick this turn, they're going to jam the hall. Okay, this game is winnable. Need them to brick, like, two more turns, maybe. Don't you dare draw Wandering Emperor. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, animate. So if I don't duress pre-combat, they could draw veto, right? Two, four, six, animate, push, pay, veto, block. So I should duress them pre-combat. Also do a Wandering Emperor check. Although if they had Emperor, they would just main phase it, I think. The only shitty thing about duress pre-combat is if they have a counter spell, they get a chump blocker. Yeah, I guess absorb too. So they go to 13. And I have to save the fatal push, I think. I still think it's good to play around Vito. Absorb wouldn't have mattered because if I go, if they go animate and then absorb my fatal push, they have to tap the hall so they can't block with it that turn. So like specifically a three mana counter spell would have been fine, but Jesus Christ. Well, this is bad. Uh, I don't think there's a reason to push now. I guess like castle? What's up, DPJ? Surely they'll draw a land next turn, right? Okay. Um, I guess I'll activate that now, because I could find a Liliana or something. That helps a lot. That definitely helps a lot. So they go to five? Well, if they brick, they're dead, right? Yeah, if they draw a land, they're dead. <clears throat> Hell of a card. Hell of a card, Shieldred. It's just like Sulfuric Vortex that also is unkillable. <laughs> just like unkillable Sulfuric Vortex. Castle can make them draw. Yeah, but the Master I can. Said GG's. We got him. All right. The first time I've ever beaten Blue Eye Control, they have something to come back to if I'm ever in a spot. If I'm in a rut where I lose to blue eye control like three times in a row, you just you just bust out the the waste knots and just crush them. Uh, I lost to a Tarka Red, which seemed like an atrocious matchup. Yeah, Crooks could be fine in that deck. Ooh, a fellow elves enjoyer. This cannot be a good matchup for elves, right? Although I don't know, they empty their hand kind of fast. Might be worse than I think it is. <clears throat> Play four ritual. So you have two main deck. Sheesh. Coco Sentinel Shaman. I mean, honestly, with the Go Blank, I'm just gonna take Sentinel because I can. I can just kind of like Go Blank. Like even if they draw land, they go land Shaman. Then I just Go Blank the Coco, right? Through a one drop. Yeah, that's fine. Now we just Go Blank their last two cards. You have to find a way to clean up these uh, these shitters, but we'll be okay. I'm gonna draw a card here and not gain three life. Ooh, tempting, but <laughs> the content play would have been to cast waste not there. But who is the beautiful goblin that inspired this deck? This is actually a copy pasted a the deck list that's been like in essentially every five O dump for the past two weeks now. Like, people continuously keep 5 on with this deck. So I wanted to try it out. I do love their Waste Knots. It's a card that's got a lot of casual appeal to it, you know? It's just, it's just like, this card makes you feel good. Kind of like Busted. Are they really? List, the specific user that I'm talking about is, I think their username is like UE 
JGO or something. It seems like their list is roughly the same. Shelly's a hell of a card. Did people, like, fully understand how busted this card was during spoiler season? I feel like they didn't. Like, people thought it was good, but I don't think they realized it was this good. Like, I, I remember seeing some, like, I mean, me, myself, too, I didn't think it was that good. I, I am one of those people. Mm, I thought the last UA Joe's version didn't have those cards. Maybe I'm wrong, but... I got a visionary. Shit, we're actually kind of in like a weird spot now. I mean, I have to play Shieldred, but. Maybe not killing the, the visionary is greedy there. But like, cut down Waste Knot. They just attack me for a thousand damage. Go Lordy! Thank you for the raid. Appreciate you. Felber with the clouds. Let me, uh, let me refill my tank real quick. I know. <laughs> we got the spike raid earlier and it was just 1 1 1 1. That was hilarious. That's a bruh moment. Chat spam bruh. That card's good. Can I slow road a little bit? Honestly, probably can, right? Yeah. I'm gonna slow roll this bad boy for a little bit. Like, what's the worst that could happen? Never remember me. Man, we should be playing Languish, shouldn't we? I guess Languish doesn't kill opposing shield rids, but... <clears throat> you and alone. Yeah, alright, I guess it's time. Yeah, it's time. They have enough stuff in play. It's been a long, lonely December. Yeah, that's the list that I copied. I, I wasn't really sure how different they were, but... <laughs> What's up, you big Joe? <laughs> uh oh. All right, how do we beat a one two? How do we beat a one two? You know, what we really need to find to start going ham is the sanitarium. Find the sanitarium and then we're chilling. Big chilling. Uh, I mean, fuck it. I'm jamming two waste knots. This is, like, only really good if I draw exactly Sanitarium, but bug it. Let's do it. This is always my biggest issue with this deck. It's like, what do you do when your opponent's hellbent? You know? Like, your cards don't do a ton. There's only one Sanitarium, right? Oh, there's three. Never mind. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of those. Sure, sure, sure. Have a good night, JS. Hope you feel better, buddy. Ooh, Burning Inquiry. We need some Dark Deals up in here. That real? Well, that, again, it doesn't work with their help end, right? Oh. We start cooking? Mm -mm -mm. I think we start cooking now. Now we're cooking. <laughs> we are cooking now. Still don't really know if we win this race, but... <clears throat> okay, so the list that I copied was Squirtles, then. What's up, Adept? I know Real John remembers when we played uh, Shieldred with Dark Deal. <laughs> I, I remember that Dono deck. Fires of Invention, Shieldred, Dark Deal, Collective Defiance. That was, uh, that was certainly one of the decks of all time. You say surprisingly. I don't really think it was that surprising. Oh, so they drew a Coco? Or are they debating me? I'm going to do this first. Because if they just discard a land, then you know, we can start cooking with the Waste Knots. I feel like they drew a Coco. I want to see if they drew a Coco. Because they can't cast Coco right now. All right, that's what I'm, that's why I want a Thoughtseize. Because they can't Coco. Do they think they can Coco? Oh, no. <laughs> they think they can Coco chat. Oh, wait, it's not enough. Besaju, I see. Besaju the Hive. Okay, so I'll just make mana. So let that go. That's fine. Can I, I could just use the mana to untap the lantern too if I want. Yeah, but Seiju does trigger. So seven, eight, I have eleven mana? I don't know why they did that in response to the Thoughtseize. So I have eleven mana. I could untap Lantern twice and Casco for the throat. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I like that. This Lancer card kind of goes hard, huh? <laughs> kind of goes hard. Alright, I'll just kill this now. Go. <laughs> the Lancer goes kind of hard. Go. We can, just, we, can, we can cook twice with the Lancer next turn. <clears throat> They're off it. Let's go. Yeah, new Lancer control. Should we, unironically, be playing more copies of this card? I know it's a 4-drop, but, like, holy shit, that goes kind of deep. Have I landed? Yeah, I'm going to play the Atraxa deck, Rakdos. I'm planning on doing some standard tomorrow and Wednesday. I kind of want to do two standard streams this week for, like, final preparation. Last minute, like, small changes and stuff. And then we'll do Donos on Thursday, and then my flight leaves Friday, so. Song request from Apeshit. What do we got? on Spotify? It sure is. This deck needs him. All right, what do we want against Elves? Extinction event coming in. I imagine Kalidus is probably good. Go blank. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Duress mid, Kling mid. Go blank mid? Is go blank mid? I don't know. Like, that game, it looked really good. I don't know if that was just a specific situation. Edict is kind of mid, too. No, we haven't sideboarded yet. Does that sound about right? I guess maybe go blank is better than Davriel. Hmm. Let's do one go blank over Davriel, I think. It's just nice because, like, you get them into a spot where they have, like, you know, they go one drop and uh, two spells on turn two. You thought seize them once, and they have two cards in hand, and you just, you know, snipe their Coco with it. This card, I don't really, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of this one. Um, I should keep this. It's a little sus. Mm, better, I guess. It's definitely better. Yeah, so I'll show you the list. The list that I'm currently at. This is the uh, the list that I was playing a bunch this morning. Uh, small changes. I've gone... I was on 2 Shieldra, 2 Atsushi before. I've switched to 3-1. Uh, mostly because I was cutting Shieldred against Grixis, and I think Atsushi is just a lot better against them. Back on the Liliana main, 2 Brotherhood's End. I, I want to fit a Soul Transfer, and I'm just not sure how. The Toxrail has been insane for me. I love the Toxrail, too. That card's so sick. I can little one of... But I've learned that the deck is just so powerful. Well, I mean, I knew that the deck was powerful, but it is just doing the most powerful thing, and that is a good place to be in standard. Just do do the most busted thing. Didn't come here to not gas waste, not. Right, like, the mono-white matchup is close to a buy. That matchup is really, really good. Grixis is, a, a, you know, over... It, it's a positive matchup. I wouldn't say it's a buy, but... Like, I would say Grixis is probably 60 to 65. Um, the aggro decks are a little sketchy. Like, I think Soldiers can get under you. Mono Red can get under you. But with four cutdown, Cutdowns main, that happens a lot less. So that's kind of the idea behind the Cutdowns. The four Cutdowns main, I should say. Makes your Esper matchup a lot better. If I was going to play a card like Dragon War, uh, Ryo, I think I would rather have Gix's Command. Dragon War is kind of awful against Esper. Oh, two tokens. Like that. Um, I've been considering playing a Gix's Command as like one as like a tutorable sweeper against um Esper. Because like sometimes it's better than Brotherhood's End. Not sure. I might play one copy, but <clears throat> Castle's entering play on Zaps. Well, when you're playing a mono black deck, that's gonna happen a lot more often. Circle's kinda sketchy. Uh oh. Two Esper, one Toxic, one Mono Red, two Red Black. Yeah, our, um, I'm going with, I'm actually only going with, I was going with three other people, but one of them just dropped out yet today, I think. So I got a Mono Red Gamer and a Grixis Gamer, but I'm trying to convert the Grixis Gamer into playing Rakdos Atraxa. All right, I think we need a Sweeper. Something tells me we need a Sweeper. Like, I could Liliana their last card. But I think I'm probably better off just slamming Shieldred. Not having a removal spell for this circle was kind of kind of mid. And yeah, my flight leaves like super late on Friday. So I don't actually get into California until 9 p.m. local time. So I'm just going to basically go crash the hotel and go to bed. Because I actually have to wake up. Uh, Saturday starts at 9 a.m., right? I think. 
Elves League's already over. We had four one with elves. Oh. <laughs> Parentheses joke. Streamer does not get the joke. Uh, deck submission deadline, I believe, might be Thursday evening. But I'm not 100% positive on that. I'll have my deck submitted by Wednesday, though. That's when I'll, I'll finalize the numbers. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a standard stream tomorrow and Wednesday again, just for final preparation. Ooh, Visionary against Shieldred, I like that. Uh-oh. Is that lethal? Three, six, ten. Two blockers. Yeah, that's lethal. Dedge. Right? Block here. Yeah, it's lethal. Okay. Oh, no, I, I get everything I need. We're chilling. I think all of us have everything. I needed I needed a third Plaza of Heroes, but I got one at the LGS, so... Yeah, I'll bring a Pioneer deck with me, just in case I bomb. I want to play some side events, but... Or better yet, maybe I should leave the Pioneer deck at home and just assume that I'm not going to need it. I am playing Atraxa. I'm playing Atraxa with Plaza of Heroes. Sunk slaps. So the sick thing about Plaza with Atraxa is the games where you go, like, Cruelty Chapter 2 Tutor, End Step Discard, untap, put it into play with all of your men untapped... If you have Plaza, like, how are they ever beating that? You just have a, a Traxa in play with an active Plaza on turn five. Just like, what are they supposed to do about that? <laughs> Shit, the game's over, you know what I mean? It's 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 been so sick for me. I don't know if they're going to have RCQ side events. Maybe. I know in Atlanta they had two qualifier. Yeah, I think they were both RCQs. One constructed, one limited. I don't know if they're going to have those again, but I hope so. Got a one drop. Gonna kill it. Play waste not. <clears throat> the sand seems a little bit better than our last stand. Holy crap. <laughs> you ever just curve waste not into Liliana? God, that feels good. Play some dark deals. Just go super deep. What about playing dark deal over go blank? I think I might discard a land here. Smushed by Grease Fang. Well, the issue is Goblank is not even that good against Grease Fang on the draw. And even on the play, like if you go blank them and they just hold up Grizzly Salvage, they just let it resolve end step salvage, untap kill you anyways. Goblank is like surprisingly not that good against Grease Fang. Okay, draw a card. Yeah, Kling is good against them for sure. I think they're just playing the exact same list that we just played, <laughs> like, two hours ago. <laughs> Alright, how good is this Extinction Event going to be? They play a Lord that can kill Elf, or kill Liliana, which is kind of unfortunate. That's what they are going to do. Hmm. Well, now I, look, now I look like a fool for discarding the Swamp, huh? Well, you're on me. Go. I don't want them getting more cards. Also good to kill that if they have Nykthos. They just jam a Planeswalker here. I'm kind of fucked. I can beat that. And... Yeah. yeah, I can also beat that. So if we rip a land, we can just name Even. 18, that's fine. Any lands? That is the worst draw in my deck. Proceed. Two, four, taking eight damage, going to ten. Gotta draw a land next turn. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I lost this game because I got greedy and discarded the land that I shouldn't have. Potentially. It was certainly greedy to discard the land. But, like, my theory was that I, if I got to keep the Liliana and they had an extra land in hand, they might just discard it to Liliana. But it did get a little punished. So now we name it even. Keep them on four power. Go to six, play Shieldred next turn. Hope that's good enough. Okay, can beat that. Shieldred hopefully will stabilize. That's actually kind of interesting to just cast that instead. Casting this is a lot better if they top deck the Lord. Or not the Lord, the Shaman. I guess it's good if they top deck Lord too, right? 
Yeah, because if I go Shieldred Pass and they draw Lord, I'm dead on board. Block here takes six, right? So, yeah, I should probably cast this. It, like, kind of sucks to cast that without a threat in play, but... Okay, we got a turn of Reprieve. Should be good now. Unless they draw exactly Coco or a Planeswalker. I think there's really no reason to cast this Thoughtseize. Like, if they have Coco, they're just going to cast it in response. I don't think they would have, like... Maybe if they have Go for the Throat or something, but I don't think they have that card. <coughs> Looks like Coco. <coughs> yep. They did draw it. It was one of the ways we lose this game. But, I mean, depending on what they hit here... That is... Lethal. Jesus, right? Yeah. Token, go to three. Block here, take three. Holy shit. <laughs> well... See, I would have won this game if I had if I had kept that land, but... They drew another Coco. They drew a Cord. I mean, I guess I was just destined to lose this game. <laughs> I didn't know what I can do about that, you know? <laughs> Turns out, maybe I would have lost anyways. Because they paid for premium. Alright, 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 alright. All right. Jesus Christ. And I drew back-to-back -back Gokos. <laughs> Good beats. Amazon Prime should come with a free month of premium. I thought it did. I thought when you subscribed to twitch.tv slash doomlake, you got a free month of MTGO premium along with it. That's what I was told. Might be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Mono white. Um, what are these cards? I guess I'll take the hopeful because that kills waste not. Mm. Oh, I slept like shit last night. I'm so tired. I was gonna end a little bit earlier. Normally I try to go for about seven hours, but we're we're at about six in, so. Yeah, I don't know why, I just, like, I did, could not sleep well last night. Madge. Mm -mm -mm. Discard spell would be nice, so I can go cut down plus discard spell, use waste not. Yeah, I gotta main phase this. I cannot, I cannot, like, cannot, um, player on brave, excuse me. That's why I'm doing that. Player on brave. I have Cathar, bodyguard, X. I can't afford to get that braved, is what I meant to say. Okay, that's fine. That I can beat. 13, light up both their homies. And, oh, that's a really good draw. I'm going to down tick here. That is a really good draw. Then we can go cut down, untap Niliana next turn, start plussing it with Waste Not in play. And their deck is basically all creatures, so we know we're probably going to get a 2-2 off of it. <laughs> is this the lock? I think this might be the lock. <clears throat> oh, never mind. Cast everything up the top. Now that's unfortunate. Guess we know they have Cathar, though, is the issue. Bonaparte! Thank you for the Twitch Prime. GG's. GG's. Thank you for the Prime. Much appreciated. No, they have Cathar, though, is the issue, right? Is looting better than casting Edict? I feel like Edict is probably better than looting, right? No, I think I'm going to Edict here. Just get their shitter off the table. I guess looting triggers the Waste Knot. Is that what you're thinking? Okay, what if I let them attack first? Right, like, let's say they draw land, they go to combat, then I go loot, they discard land. Then that's fine, I just use the mana to cast the Edict, right? Yeah, and if they discard Cathar, then I make a 2-2 and block and then play the Shieldred. That's just like, the game's over, you know? <laughs> they discard this, I make a 2-2. Block this, play Shieldred. It's just like the end of the game. They did discard Cathar. Okay. What are we doing? Okay. Um, I'm a block. That seems like a really good exchange. Hellbent? We like Hellbent. Now I probably just jam Shieldred. Uh... I could let I could just like kill all their shit, but <clears throat> I think I like jamming Shieldred here. The only disaster is if they draw exactly Cathar and put a counter on it, then I can't cut down the Cathar. 
because it'd be a 3-3. Three, three. That's the only... That's, like, worst possible scenario. If they draw a vacation, whatever, that's fine. I can still kill all this shit, but... Cathar is bad. Right, I could beat planes. I don't want to be the same. Okay. So let's start here. Because they're going to activate. I want to see what they hit off this. Can I beat recruitment officer? I mean, I could have just cast cut down anyways, right? I have a Thalia. All right, get out of here. The four yet. Ooh. Uh, you know what I just realized? I think I was supposed to cast Fatal Push instead of Cut Down, because if they draw Cathar, I can't push Cathar. Oh, that's not true, because I get a Revolt. I get Revolt online. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Mm -mm -mm. So I think I'm going to push the Hopeful Initiate. I don't really care about the Thalia, right? Dude, Waste Not Plus Sanitarium is kind of cracked. What they discard? Discarded a land. Got mana. Nothing to do with mana, but. I was hoping they would draw a creature there. <clears throat> They're still in really bad shape. I guess this line is bad if they draw a Cathar for Shield Rid. Because then I lose the Fatal. Like, I'm, I'm casting the Fatal Push. I guess I didn't need to cast the Fatal Push first, right? Could have just activated Gyre Reach. Don't really care about that. You got a chump block with Adeline? This game seems over. Okay. Let's do this first. See what they hit off the sanitarium. Oh yeah, they're just dead, right? Yeah, they just lose to activate this plus draw. Been with you. Just lethal. Proceed. Don't even have to attack. That sanitarium's messed up with, with Waste Knot and Shield Red. Alright. Mono White. Duress bad, go blank bad. Extinction event good. Kalidus good. Cut duress. Cut go blank. Cut Davriel. Seems fine. Maybe I should cut Turgrid for one Baleful Mastery. Okay with that. Yeah, it's a lot more interesting than I thought it was. Like, when I looked at it at first, it didn't seem that that interesting, but it's got, this deck's got some cool lines. <clears throat> one of the best Shielder decks I've played so far. Just, like, it works so well with a lot of your cards. Like, you have the Sanitariums, you have the Castles, like, a pile of Castles, and then you have, like, the synergy of Sanitarium with Shieldred, with Waste Knot, a lot of removal spells. Deck's some, doing some cool stuff. Should be exclamation point deck list. Check your Discord tag. What did you send me? Do I approve of your basics? Chat, everybody stare. Chat, everybody just stare. <laughs> no, I don't approve of your basic choices. Alan's run that set. They make, they, um, why don't I play that instead of the hive? They make Japanese ones of that too, right? That's like, is that P3K? What set is that? No, that's like 4th edition, right? Is that 4th? I don't even know what set that is. Is that 4th? 4th sounds about right. I didn't play the Hive again. God damn it. <laughs> I just foregore. Streamer foregore. Skull emoji. Foregore. The pee hole. Opponent has... Uh, we're not going to go there. They've cast Portable Hole. We'll just leave it at that. All right, go. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. Yeah, this would probably be the last batch. I'm fucking tired. Jesus. See, like, I want to Extinction Event Odd. Like, if I play Shieldred... Maybe if I play Shieldred, they might Brutal Cathar, then I could Extinction Event Odd. Yeah, let's do that. Because I don't want to Extinction Event even after I play Shieldred. But this is good if they play Cathar. 
Although, I guess it's not great if they just shove with Adeline token. No, because they, yeah, they can't get it to five power, right? <clears throat> yeah, they won't necessarily be able to get it to five power. Whoa. So this is a ganjo? So I just block Adeline, get a ganjo, and then extinction event even. Oh, they can trade. Right, I forgot about Mutaball. Good point. I mean, honestly, this is like the only way for me to clean up the board, right? The extinction event. That's a fucking disaster. Yeah, I forgot about the Mutaball. So I guess I should have blocked this. Yeah, I think I was supposed to block this. So now I extinction event even. They keep Adeline with Mutaball. I mean, I'm just super dead, right? I'm super dead. Should have blocked the Lieutenant. Should have blocked Lieutenant for sure. Could have held up a Black Source. Maybe they don't go for me to vault. Two, four, six, go to four. I mean, if I draw a Fatal Push, I can crack Field of Ruin and then Fatal Push their Adeline. And then maybe be in a fine spot. Can I also Liliana too? Uh, Yeah, I can, right? This is just exactly enough mana. Perfect. I can go Liliana Uptick to make sure they don't have Brave. Is it getting bad? Exactly enough mana. Alright, I tried to throw this game, but I think we're still fine. No cards with a 1-1. One, one. Just don't draw the third Adeline, please. Please don't draw a third Adeline. Whatever you do, do not draw the third Adeline. No third Adeline, let's go. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I'll try to get a better sleep tonight for some standard tomorrow. All right, I am at three. <clears throat> mm, I don't want to edict them. Voices. Then I think just go second Lily. Uptick? This might be a spew. Destroy evil. <coughs> It's basically just, like, adding more loyalty to the Liliana. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Cannot activate Castle too much. I think we hide them, actually. Yeah. I guess maybe one Castle activation is fine. The first one's probably okay. The alternative is holding the Liliana... But I can't really think of a reason why I would ever hold the Liliana. The only reason to do that is if you expect them to, like, have a thing that makes multiple creatures, and then you can go Edict, play new one, Edict again. But there's not really anything they could have that would do that, right? E4, activate. Is drawing a card better? I guess I'll draw one card. Doing it now in case I draw Shieldred. Okay, I tilt. I don't know if that was better. I can't draw a second card. Voices. They have the big tokens like that. Or what are you going to have to spend Adeline? Yeah, that's fair. Which, like, neither of which really... Uh, like, I, I can't take that line where I go, like, hold, you know, hold Liliana or whatever. Let's go here. Here. Uptick. Slam for three. Uptick, slam for three. Yeah, I should start going after their twos in case they have um, extraction specialist. That's a good point. <clears throat> oh, right. They, they got rid of the card in hand. I guess I could have done that, yeah. I just have sixth, but... Yeah, I could have used the guy to reach on their end step because I had a card and they didn't. You're right. You're right. Let's just have sixth. And... Uh, that's a problem. That is a problem. Uh, <laughs> I think something tells me the race does not favor me. Something tells me this race does not favor me. Yeah, I think I should loot now. I'm trying to find Field of Ruin. Or Shieldred. <coughs> I mean, is there a chance I can just 
animate high of attack and then keep up fatal push or whatever. Definitely a chance. All right, let's try it. I just not use the Liliana. I think I might win this race. Yeah. <clears throat> it's going to be close. Get rid of recruitment officer. They go to nine. It's going to be a tight one. Like, maybe if I just draw one more removal spell, it might be okay. Because I can take one hit. Maybe they'll draw an Annaline and slam it. And then I can go push token, untap, edict them. And that's an entire turn of them not using castle. <laughs> Gotta lose this game because I activated that castle in that one turn. Alright, well, gonna push this now. Oh, but they can make another token. Right. That's no bueno. Because they have exactly enough to make a token to protect against Liliana. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, I can block with Hive this turn. Do I have enough to animate and block? I might, right? No, I don't think I do. If I'm activating the field. No, I don't have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm one short. All right, go. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely have to field that turn for sure. I don't think I can afford to not field. What's up, Molly? My brother in Christ. <laughs> You're going to Barcelona? That's sick. Congratulations. That's awesome, dude. That's sick. Big congratulations. Loot when you had Edict in hand was what you would lost you this race? Maybe, yeah. <clears throat> Do I loot now? Or not loot, but draw a card. Go to one. I think I have to go to one, right? Yeah, I think I have to. Yeah, I think I have to. You're you're kind of right. I think I lost this game because of the turn that I looted when I had a removal spell in hand. I th I didn't think about just like trying to race them. Like that thought just hadn't crossed my mind. Okay, that helps a lot. That's actually kind of nuts too, because I can go second Liliana Edict and fire up the Hive. That's kind of crazy. Jesus. <laughs> what a sick game. What a sick game. What a sick ass game. Never punished, by the way. Never, ever punished. This game was not very sick. <laughs> it's just me getting insanely lucky. <laughs> Oh, I'm pogging. Chat can't pog, but I can pog all I want. It's turn 13. Yeah, but like, this has been a close game. Not every game that goes to turn 13 is Resident Sleeper. Banger. I'm going to play around um, Destroy Evil. Because they've shown me two of those cards so far. What did they draw? Ah, a portable hole. <clears throat> Now the game's over. Boop. The kind of magic I like is turn is turn twenty kills. So you actually enjoy the mono white beer in standard then, is what you're saying. It is a good song, yeah. Appropriate song. That would have been a good draw had they not been dead on board. Close game. We're just playing Azorius Waste Knot. Azorius Waste Knot. <laughs> As someone registering Mono White in San Diego, I'm not looking forward to mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of the reason I'm not playing Mono White. Like, I think the deck is really good against against a large portion of the field. It's just the mirror matches are unbearable. Unbearable. All right, I mean, I'm not going to end uh, two and two in the league. I'm not going to end there. I'll, I'll play the last match. Fine. <clears throat> I guess I'll play the last match. 
We're not doing a prediction, though, because I am... All right, last match of the evening. Mm, no. Gigantha. This hand is based as fuck. Based as fuck. <clears throat> Ooh. Gigantha Darksteel Citadel, huh? This matchup can't be good. I guess I have Extinction Event. Like, if they go for Insol and Citadel. Okay. I can maybe beat this start. Alright, I'm gonna go Liliana Uptick. Hopefully, well, I guess we know they're not discarding a land. But, we could probably safely assume they're not discarding a land. Whoa. Get swooped. You just got swooped. All right, Liliana takes one. What you got over there? Oh, wait, why didn't I play the Waste Knot first? That was really dumb. <laughs> I got too excited. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Calm the fuck down. <clears throat> Bruh. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just do it. We'll just do it this way. Draw a card. Sheesh. Another word of Opter. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. They discarded Skrelv Sive. So they're here to Skrelv Glitters Machikos. Uptick, baby. This is going to look loose, but I'm discarding Fatal Push here. I'm gonna doubt real them. I just want max value off of this waste knot. Discarding that fatal push is probably not a great idea, but I wanted to keep the Bontus, and I knew I wanted to do it this way. Alright, well we win. <laughs> Look, waste knot when it when it goes off, waste knot's kinda disgusting. <laughs> That was kind of gross. I could have also been another card, too. I mean, to be fair, they kept the one lander, but whatever. <clears throat> Waste not going off. Second Sanitarium. You'd love to see it. I know it's legendary, but I can still use it this turn. Mana? Run it back? I'm just having fun at this point. Uh, I don't think I need the second bond to use. I could have played the Waste Knot first, I guess. Lantern. <laughs> we are going in. Uh, they're at 13. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, missing all the value for shame. Well, I ended up using all my mana anyways, but I, I guess something tells me it's not going to matter. I think I think we can probably figure it out. <clears throat> <laughs> I think we can probably get to get to point B from there. All right. Uh, extinction event, good. Kalidus, good. Mm, Duress poop. Go blank poop. Dabriel poop on the draw. We should probably cut go for the throat from my deck, right? I guess I'll play Baleful Mastery instead. Oh, I need to delete that plug. Did you know, chat? I'm holding a pure modern tournament on April 1st, 2024. You have one year to prepare your deck lists. Scrub. Mm, Thoughtsies are cut down. I don't want a Thoughtsies. What's up, Nate? Machiko, Scrub, Ornithopter, Patchwork. I'll take the best card in your hand. Roadside Reliquary. Patchwork. So Scrub X is their hand. <coughs> Scrub X, huh? We're attacking? I don't know if I like that attack. Something... I guess it's hard for me to kill this, because it has Ward 2. Yeah, I just can't kill it, actually. So I guess that attack's fine. This thing does have Ward 2. No standard today, but... We are going to be playing standard tomorrow and Wednesday. So the next two days are all going to be standard in preparations for San Diego. That's bad. I've been... 
I think I have to Bontus. It actually kind of works out because I Bontus this turn and then I can cut down after playing land four next turn. When do I fly in? I am not getting in until late Friday. I don't land until Friday, 8 p.m. local time. Super late. It is on Easter, which I, I kind of found surprising. I'm, I'm very surprised they would have a tournament on Easter, but... What is San Diego playing? It's the standard regional championships. And that's why I've, that's why I've been playing a lot of standard over the past couple of weeks on the channel. Get swooped again. Just keep getting swooped. Oh, fuck. Uh... Yeah. Alright. Get swooped, I guess. <coughs> we have to trade... <coughs> have to trade Shieldry for Portrait. Sheesh. I don't know how much standard I'm going to play after San Diego. I'll probably play some when the new set comes out. Because that should be interesting, right? Alright, wrath me. That, that's certainly not a wrath. Alright, game three. Game three. I'll also be a lot more interested in standard once Fable rotates. Oh yeah, we're going to have to prepare for the PT after I uh, win the RC, so... I haven't played Grazen Pioneer. You should add uh, Kebby in the Discord, because I think Kebby was working on it. Kebby had a couple of grass shells. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of Fable. I just, like... Is, like, Fable's just... I don't think that Fable is a poorly designed card. I just think that it is too much to be the word that I'm trying to use, the phrasing. It's really hard to balance a standard format around a card like that. You know? They play, what land did they play this turn? They haven't played a land yet, right? So they played this last turn. We did they have Rebuke Foundry. Yeah, it's just, it's too efficient. It's, it just, it provides too many cards. Just like, it's way too much. I'm gonna walk into the Rebuke. I don't really care if they fight over this. They're not going to. I am going to slam the Liana, let them rebuke that. Slip safe and close to the winter. Is it a dark R? Well, they still have Foundry in hand. Mm -mm -mm. I was thinking about this the other day. I really think that, like, the way that they designed standard cards, it's just a lot more... There's just a lot more mid-range cards... You know what I mean? <clears throat> it's just all about mid-range fights. To the window. Like, we're the good aggro cards, you know? We're stuck playing fucking Phoenix Chick. <laughs> that card is so bad. Just like, give me a good aggro card. I think Juza was talking about this on Twitter the other day. Just like, every single deck, and like, even the aggressive decks, in order to compete with the other mid-range decks, have to skew their deck in such a way where they're they just become like bad mid-range decks you know mm. it's mistress foundry kind of kicking my ass i honestly might just trade for it yeah they have one card in hand nah I could probably afford to take a hit. Just end of turn Takanuma and try to find Shieldred. How about this? Shieldred. Alright, I guess we get Liliana. They didn't draw Rebuke, did they? Nope. <clears throat> Wanna go back to Chain Whirler Hell? Well, kind of, but not really like. Chain Whirler, those decks were also, you could probably just call those mid-range decks. They weren't really aggressive decks. And that was the, like, that was the turning point, because they printed a lot of good aggressive cards, but the best thing to be doing in, a, in an aggressive mirror is going bigger. So it ended up where, even though all of the, all of the good cards were con concentrated around, like, 
these really aggressive shells, the best thing to do is just go bigger. And the way that you went bigger was just become a mid-range deck. So even the red decks were just, they were just mid-range decks. Like people were playing Sand Strangler. You know, like that's, it's not, those aren't aggressive decks. They're just mid-range decks masked as aggressive decks, right? Am I playing Optic Liliana here? No, it's just like Ick them. I don't even know if this is good, but. <clears throat> I'm going to hold up trading Muta Ball for Mishra's Foundry. <laughs> Saw an update to the Acerac combo tech running Tyvar. Yeah, we, we, we have Tyvars in that deck. Tyvar is crazy in that deck. Probably the best reason to be playing that deck. <clears throat> it's so good. But yeah, I don't know. It's just like, it's kind of weird. And I don't know how you go about fixing that. Like, it, it's it's not really one printing is going to fix something like that. It's it's an entire design philosophy, you know? About how they're designing cards nowadays. But it doesn't really seem like there's a, there's a good solution, you know? You think it's fire design? I mean, it's that's certainly part of it, right? That is certainly part of it. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to think of when the good, like, last true aggressive deck was that I can recall in Standard. <clears throat> like, maybe when Tom Ross was playing Mono White during that block. And, like, remember that Tom Ross Mono White deck had, like, 24 one drops or something? Like, you're never going to see a deck like that ever again in Standard if they're going to keep the way that they're printing cards, you know? Mono White Guilds. Um, was that like the Venerated Loxodon deck? Yeah, I guess that's fair. Eh, Mono Blue wasn't really an aggressive deck, though. I don't... It's not like a true aggressive deck. It, it kind of is, but... Not in the true sense of the word, but maybe that's like a, a, fine, a fine counterpoint. Bring it back down, bring it back down tonight. <clears throat> Fire Design... Fun, inviting, replayable, enjoyable or something. Something like that. But it's like, the fire design is just like this... I don't remember the exact article, but... It's this new design philosophy. I can't remember the exact... Um, what you call it? Hold on, let me finish this. There's, there's, there's a link to it at some point. I'm gonna take this hit. Draw card. <laughs> yeah, quick, feel the ruin it. I'm sure there's a link to it. Somebody told me you had a boyfriend, you looked like a girlfriend, and I had to be blessed you. It's not so much what they said it is, it's what standard has been since the change. Okay, I, well, now I'm curious. You know what? I was going to end the stream, but let's do, let's do a little, let's do a little research. MTG Fire Design. We can have a little conversation here. So this was their original article. <laughs>